So uh, if you can see the slides and, and, and hear me, I can start here. Hello, everybody, once again. Uh, congrats to Professor Lucas and uh, organizing committee for this nice meeting. Uh, are my uh, slides moving up or, yeah, you can see it. Can you, is moved? Yes. Okay. Okay. So this the generative this disease uh, starts even before the uh, age of thirty five, and approximately one third of people already have some degeneration of this degeneration on the cervical spine, and uh, at the age of sixty, more than ninety percent of MMR you can find. So let me say everybody here uh, already have some kind of change of or spine cervical spine. So what we can find in this kind of patient, that's it's pain, instability, and radiculopathy because of myelopathy or, or only compression to the nerve. Also, there is some signs of compression to the nerve. And uh, all talk today, it's about the anterior cervical discectomy and fusion for the multi-level segment. And uh, uh, ICDF is surgery designed to, to, to relieve the spinal cord and nerve roots pressure in the neck by removing or part or all the damaged disc and this procedure start within uh, you know when we find the proper patients uh, selection should be uh, a proper of course incidence of uh, cervical radicopathy is 100 per 100 uh, thousand people and uh, of course we can when we are talking about the problem with cervical spine we are talking about the disc herniation spinal stenosis facet joints osteophytes and so and of course, myelopathy, which is the most important personal problem. Uh, uh, surgical SEP uh, have ACDF have actually three main steps, and the procedure starts with uh, four to five centimeters incision in the frontolateral part of the neck. Uh, the, the thin layer of potisma muscle lies uh, should be cut. It. We know all these simple techniques. However, I will try to show you a short video how we do it. So what's important to drill all the uh, osteophytes start with the uh, upper osteophytes and usually the cervical uh, level is there. Then when we remove the lower drill, the osteophytes, then we start to drill to prepare the cage for the cage. You see that the other, uh, uh, lower uh, level is already prepared for the cage and I'm moving the uh, rest of the disc from the upper level then uh, 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 after we remove this disc with the, the orange, then we start to deal with the kill also for this level. What's important here, it's not only to remove the osteophytes and the disc, which is then denervated already, but also to to remove the whole the end plate to, to reach the, the spongious bones and uh, 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 to have the bleeding from the uh, vertebral uh, body because of better fusion later on. When we perform, I usually perform only one uh, X-ray confirmance. When I'm in on the uh, level, one level I choose, I put the needle and make the X-ray. That's only X-ray I do it. I know that um, some of you will not uh, agree with that, but this is only one X-ray I need usually uh, to, to, to do this surgery, not before the incision of the skin, but just when I'm in on the level. And then when we are removed, uh, uh, osteophyte and uh, disc, then we remove, then we drill. The, you see that we can see the osteophyte up and down. It's removed and we'll see uh, uh, spongious uh, part of the body. And we are preparing uh, to be different kind of drills, diamond and, and steel and uh, barrel uh, drill tip. We remove the part of the upper and uh, lower the body. And usually we need uh, the space, which is eight to 10 millimeters of, of uh, in, in the high, which is uh, confirmation that we remove all the uh, 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 part of uh, soft tissue, uh, those soft tissue compromise the, the uh, fusion later on. When is the damaged disc extracted, including end phase and osteophytes, then we will examine, examine the posterior uh, longitudinal ligament and we, we are inside the, the, the spinal canal. Of course, uh, we have to be uh, careful with the 
with the uh, carotid artery, a lot of the structures, uh, dangerous structures in this area. And we put, of course, metal uh, uh, plates around the, to preserve the uh, important neurovascular structure, esophagus and uh, recognition nervous. So you see here that we already prepared for three cages and we put the cage inside. Sometimes if the if this generation was very uh, high level, then we have to put very high uh, cage inside. And what's important here, uh, comparing, for example, with the lumbar spine, we uh, when we remove an uh, um, uh, when we clear the one level of the cervical spine, we actually uh, uh, deliberate not only one nerve root like in lumbar spine, but four. Uh, uh, roots for example so uh, no near roots are here horizontally positioned so when we remove the intervertebral uh, part we decompress four near roots because of that i sometimes say to the patient this is much better surgery than the lumbar spine and then we put the cage inside when we deliberate the knife the uh, laterally enough to, to remove the posterior posterior uh, uh, postophyte also when we have ossified posterior ligament it's very important to go in deep and sometimes with the ronje remove the part of posteriorly posterior osteophyte and part of ossified ligament and uh, uh, see that all four uh, 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 nerve foraminas are the compressed already and then we put the, the so as I said not uh, uh, end plate should be also removed not only the disc and when we see the blood, that think that um, um, uh, fusion will be good later on. We put the cage later on and the plate anteriorly and screw enough uh, along the screw that not catch the foraminas, but have to pass the needle of the vertebral body. That's enough for the fixation. And uh, uh, sometimes when we are doing one or two level of ACDF is fast and nice surgery, very easy. But sometimes when we are doing for three or four levels, especially on the uh, upper levels, uh, C2, C3, or C3, C4, uh, if the patient is uh, fed with a wide neck, sometimes it's not so easy to reach this uh, level. Uh, however, for the two, one or two levels, I use the horizontal incision, and uh, for the uh, three and four levels, I use the uh, oblique incision uh, close to the sternocleidal mastoid level. You see here the, the preparation for, for four levels there. And then when we remove the, the, the part of the uh, prepared the cavity, we use the probe to see which uh, number of cage we will use. Then we can see the bone or we can we can use, you can see we use the bone or peak cage sometime where it's the band of uh, of the some reasons we find the proper uh, material to put in is depend of every single patient. Uh, of course, uh, uh, those kind of surgery uh, sometimes uh, has many problems can, can have the, the, some complication and to prevent those complications, it's not enough to do those surgery, but also for thinking, to think for those uh, 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 possible complication, and I will say now mention a few uh, tricks how to avoid those complication, which could be hemorrhage or, or damage carotid or vertebral artery, laryngeal nerve, esophagus, or something like that. Also, we can damage the dura or spinal cord, and or, or some go to laterally to the to the uh, vertebral artery in the in the foraminas. Uh, so. Uh, never go too laterally after the ocinate process and we should start there on the ocinate process. There are my personal series for a few years and there is 29 and three, uh, three levels and 12, uh, four levels. There is some complication. One patient died due to the mediastinitis, four levels patient, uh, probably because of uh, injury or too much compression to the esophagus and they later on the acid from the uh, ventricle come to uh, heart and can complicate with, with the cardiac arrest. Also, there was one dural injury with my young guy. I helped him to do the uh, to, to, to deal, do surgery, but we had the problem. But after that, patient was well. 
So uh, we have to be very careful with old patients, uh, which uh, small injury can produce the big complication. So how to avoid, avoid those complications? Um, keep clear operative field all the time, preserve passing base if possible, coagulate some of them if we have to, if we coagulate, coagulate quite enough. Always, I always put the drainage connected with the vacuum reservoir. And uh, you see, uh, we can see the, the, the uh, hematoma uh, after the surgery on three levels. I, uh, that was uh, recently happened with, with my uh, colleague. After the surgery, we made the uh, 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 we repeat the surgery during the night and patient has good and two days later left the hospital. Also, uh, carotid artery can be or, uh, injured, so we have to see the carotid artery, but never open the carotid sheet and put the metal plate to, to keep it away from the operative uh, field. Uh, when we are putting screws and the plates, it's better to make the, the X-rays after the at least one uh, uh, screw uh, on each uh, level, but as I said, I don't use X-ray too much, uh, uh, but it's 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 sometimes necessary and good to to do if you think that screws doesn't go properly inside or not deep enough. Also, uh, damaging of the electron allowing uh, our nerve resulting in hoarseness. Uh, it's better to do the left side surgery. I know that we as a surgeon are using usually. We like, I like right, surgery, right uh, side surgery usually, but left side is better. And also uh, we have to be trained to do from the left side and uh, learn the young surgeons to start at the beginning of career to doing cervical spine surgery from the left. And also uh, esophagus, it's very dangerous in injury of the esophagus because it has no uh, adventitious around. And so it's very uh, soft tissue if you uh, if your assistant press the esophagus uh, too long or too much, it, there will happen necrosis. And after the seven or ten days, it can happen necrosis and uh, 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 oral acid from the ventricle from gaster could go outside and make a mediastin. It's it's happened to us. Uh, probably that's happened ten years ago when we had uh, 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 one patient who died because of probably. Uh, damaging of the wall of esophagus, so please uh, take care about that. Also, damaging of the dura, it's not so big problem as the people think, just put some piece of the fat tissue on the area where you damage the dura. It's happened when the uh, osteophytes and the uh, stenosis or in the cervical spinal canal is too long happen, and there is uh, adhesions between the longitudinal ligament and the dura, and then we put the just a piece of the uh, fat tissue and then surgery cell and then the piece of fibrin glue at, uh, that with healing very well. I don't think so. That's a big problem as the sometimes we think it is. So also uh, don't push the graft too much posteriorly. I, I, I don't use the hammer almost not at all, just in some cases very gently or, uh, and also when we are putting the plates and screws, especially uh, should the uh, earlier to see which kind of how long screw are proper for this uh, surgery. There are one problem where I put, in, put it too long as a uh, plate, you see, and after two years, I, I actually, uh, what's happened, this is the transitional syndrome. So it's because I put too long plate laid here and after two years, that was good surgery there, but yeah, I have to repeat it and make longer, uh, a longer place on the level up. Also, wound infection, it's a normal surgical, usually surgical complication could happen. I never had a wound infection, but always thinking about that, put, I give the vancomycin for one day. Also, uh, pseudoarthrosis, if we uh, make too big, if we put too big a case, we can, produce the pseudoarthrosis or uh, uh, I don't like to talking about the nerve roots damage or spinal cord damage. This is very dangerous complication. Of course, we all know that. So there is some cases how it could uh, look and how we do it. Uh, uh, screws should be 
quite long to the spa, to the to the dura almost, and this is our colleague uh, did surgery. Uh, this is postoperative two months after the after the three levels. You can also cannot see the scar. Thank you to my colleague friend from United States, Kenan Nautovic. I learned from him many tips and tricks in the cervical spine surgery. Thank you, that's all.